The Presonus PM2 pencil condenser set is a versatile value for any mic kit in my opinion. These come as a stereo pair with a stereo bar included in the kit and a couple of mic clips sized for this style of mic. We bought this set about a year ago and have been using them pretty extensively ever since. The main job they've been doing here has been acting as single spot mics for shooting videos. There's one that stays near the workbench all the time and another that's found a home on the desktop specifically being used for casual online video calls where having a big broadcast mic is a bit much. And this is an idea of what the desktop mic sounds like for Zoom or Skype. I've got the window open and it's raining right now and the microphone's maybe a foot away from me right at the screen and kind of out of the shot. For many projects, one of these has been the primary dialogue mic, usually paired with a Rycote Windjammer, but not always. If you're booming a mic indoors for dialogue, you'll often want to use a cardioid condenser like this instead of your usual shotgun mic, and that gives you a little more natural off-axis pickup as people move around. This video has been recorded using the PM2 through a Revelator IO24 interface by PreSonus, and that has all of the processing that's being used on this channel on board. So everything in the signal chain from PreSonus, I think these mics have been a great value for what we use them for, and I'm really glad we have them here. They get used every day. The mic you've been hearing in this video is actually the one you're seeing being taken apart and put back together in the video. So no harm done there. Sometimes folks get a little worried about that. So this is another one, but with a little closer sound to what would happen if you boomed the mic as opposed to having it down on the desktop. I think we are hearing a lot of reflections off my computer screen and the desktop, so maybe this will be a little clearer. Let's see. So hopefully if you are considering using these microphones for dialogue or any other aspects of filmmaking, a pair of these would also work great with windscreens for recording a podcast. So if you've got some other plans beyond recording music or instruments, uh, hopefully this video was helpful demonstrating how they work for that. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching.